So as you guys know, when I have my hair combed and I'm wearing something that's not a black V, you know it's a serious video. Breaking news, PUBG Mobile deletes. PUBG Mobile defrosts the Glacier M4. There's no shot. There's no shot if I open up the crates and I click on classic, there's no shot I don't see the Glacier M4 in there, except that's exactly what's going to happen. What the hell is going on at HQ? Why would they dump the number one most sought out item? I mean, it's every content creator's dream to get the Glacier M4. Everybody remembers where they were, the date, the time, what the event was, what they had for breakfast that day. Everybody remembers what they were doing the day they pulled the Glacier M4. It's such a monumental thing. And think of all the people that don't have it. So we're going to take a look at that. There's also a new way. So they get rid of the number one most sought out item, the Glacier M4. But then they add a new way to monetize. I mean, wait, wait until you guys see this, but I'm getting ahead of myself. We're going to we're going to stick with this first. So as you guys can see, we're in the classic crates, right? I remember this was I mean, everybody this is on everybody's wish list. You can already tell it's gone. Look, we got the mythics up at the top, a chance to get that thing. And it was a it was a legendary. It was a purple. It used to be a blue. Then they made it a legendary. And it's it's literally not here. Why? I, it, does that make sense to anyone? I mean, and not to mention the people paying for it, trying to pull one, you know, with their luck. Then you had all the people that were saving coupon scraps that were actually farming, you know, their missions, you know, farming their, their free roll passes, getting any scrap that they could with silver they could muster up just for a chance to pull one of the only, if not the only, gun lab weapon, which is like the most iconic, it's the most iconic weapon in the game. The Glacier M4. And it's not in, is it somewhere else? Is it somewhere, I don't see it. What I'm hoping is that this is a huge mistake. I mean, obviously someone's getting fired over this, clearly. But I mean, look, there's three lucky spins going on. It's not in, no, for a second, for a split second. I thought it was this, but this is the icicle mini. I wouldn't actually mind pulling that, to be honest. I've been rocking the mini quite a bit. They have the icicle mini. They got all the attachments for it, but no Glacier M4. What, what, what is the comment? What is the comment section going to say over this? That's the question. So they get rid of probably one of their biggest money makers, but then they add something new that's going to make them millions and millions and millions of dollars. Wait till you guys see what it is. Let's take a look. All right, so this was first revealed on the PMGC stage, all right? And it's called Customizable Home Space. For those of you that played the game Undone, which is also a Tencent uh, level infinite uh, game, mobile game, a lot of fun, super, super, super pay to win. It's probably a big reason why I stopped playing it because it just turned, I mean, just ended up being a huge money dump or you just have to play like for you know 20 hours a day to even attempt to keep up. But this is called Customizable Home Space. Now, this is just where they first revealed it, but we're gonna get into what it's actually going to look like, all right? So let me go ahead, let's skip ahead just a bit. Okay, so right here, we're gonna get kind of our first glimpse at it. I don't know how exactly it's gonna work. I don't know if you're gonna have like your own island. I mean, I would imagine players would be able to, you know, visit the different homesteads. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, if it's anything like Undone, not not that PUBG's all of a sudden gonna become pay to win. It's 100% a skill-based game. It is free to play, but you're going to have your whales. You're going to have your Krakens that are going to take this right here to the absolute next level. And Tencent, they can do it. They're already doing it in a game that is available for Android and iOS where you can create, I mean, literally anything from 
I mean, your front yard to the type of, to the gate surrounding uh, your property, the type of textures, the windows, the sliding glass doors, any type of furniture, and you get homestead points and all these things. So think of this, you can think of this kind of like, uh, like popularity battle. Look, there, I see, what is this, like a yacht? So, I mean, there's truly, it, it. you can make anything. You could make the house you live in right now. You could make your the entire apartment building if you live in an apartment, you could make that. I mean, there's truly no boundaries to what you can create. I mean, look at this. This one looks like it's like a volcano in the back. Look at this. You got you got these hammocks and lawn chairs. It, it it's it's pretty remarkable. And we often forget, at least I do, we often forget that it's a mobile game. Look, this one has like a, an airdrop in the front. I mean again it's completely endless i mean whatever you could think of i mean people in in undon have built i mean 20 story skyscrapers i mean all customized so here's a great look at it uh the, again the different things you can do so obviously look this looks, looks like a fishing is this a it's like a fishing rod what the hell is happening is this a battle royale game i'm, I'm so confused right now again so the, yeah, very, very similar, but I will say this, the engine, I mean, I think both games are Unreal Engine, but as far as optimization, no, nothing beats PUBG Mobile. I mean, truly nothing beats what they've been able to accomplish, even in comparison to character movement. When you look at Undawn versus PUBG Mobile, there's truly no comparison as far as uh, the level of detail and just how smooth everything runs. So I just don't know what, I mean, like what is going to be the point other than popularity. And again, like in Undawn, it's homestead points. But in PUBG, like where does that fit into PUBG Mobile? It's so confusing. Look, this one has graphics cranked up. Look at the different, the, the, the pay attention to the level of detail. I just don't know what the hell to make of this. How this is going to fit in the game. Like, kind of like, what's the point? Other than popularity, uh, uh, I mean, maybe they'll have like some competitions. I just, it's so, it's so confusing to me how that is, and exactly, I really hope, please, PUBG, oh God, I just realized something. I really hope that's not, I really hope that's not the 3.0 reveal. Because like, in case, you, in case you missed my last video, I'm going to pin a card up at the top. 1.0 brought us the revamped Orangle. Uh, we had update 2.0 brought us the revamped Livic. But again, they basically, especially Livic, they completely changed the map. Introduced something totally new. And Livic next to Orangle are two of the, you know, the most popular maps in the game. So, I, I re oh god, I really hope this isn't the 3.0, like, big you know, reveal because that would to me, at least to me, that would be devastating. That'd be truly devastating. I mean, I'm, you know, FPS battle Royale player through and through and having something like that come to the game, it would just, it would just be so it, it'd be a kick in the nuts, at least to me, you know, I'd want to see something, something different, you know, something that I think all players would be able to engage in because that is going to be super super not even paid to win you're not like winning anything pay to get clout i guess it's not winning pubg's a you know i can't make any more clear it's it's a free-to-play game 100 skill based and that's why the game at launch was so successful because whether you spent money or didn't, you could still play the game and get enjoyment out of it. So let me know what you guys think, man. The comment section is going to go hard. I already know.